a Firefox OS for phones. And this is a this is an early build, so it's not final, but it looks pretty cool so far. So walk me through it. All right, so you got your phone, starts up, you, you unlock it. You can put a code in as well, which I didn't because I keep building this thing new. You swipe to see your apps. You basically have all the things that you have in normal Android, your buttons down there. Mm -hmm. You have your messaging, you have your contacts, you have uh, your phone call. So basically if I go through my contacts and I haven't got anything on them right now, but mm -hmm. it, would, it would have like all the icons and photos of your friends and, and showing on there and everything. And you can create a new contact, you got your form here, you can start filling people in, much like any other phone as well. The main differentiator of this phone is, is that all of this, what you see here, is HTML5, CSS and JavaScript. Okay. Meaning, the operating system is written in it, but also if you want to build an app, all you have to do is write an HTML5 product. Nice. So if you know how to build a website, you can build an app. Okay. And you can use that app on Android, you can use that app on iPhone, you can use that app on the web, on your mother's fridge, on your father's car, <laughs> and on Firefox OS. Okay. Instead of having to build it for Firefox OS only. Okay. The other benefit is that your apps are basically on the web. Okay. So we have a we will have a marketplace where you can put your apps, okay. but you could also just install them from the from the website. So if you have a website and you have an app and you want people to install it, you can just put an install button there. Much you have a like button in for Facebook now. Okay, but what happens if you're not connected to the internet? Say you're in the a same subway that the same that happens on any other phone. You store things offline. Okay. So every every one of these apps has access to a 50 megabyte database, so okay. you can actually store all the content that you want on this phone offline as well. Okay. So the interfaces for available, for example, are available, but I cannot access the wireless here, so I cannot get data from the web. Okay. But the games and the demos that we have on there are fully available. So this is a 3D demo that just shows me as a developer mm -hmm. how fast uh, 3D animations would work on it. Oh. So you got nice. the full touch screen and the uh -huh. full refractions and everything going on so this is for me to geek out and see if a 3d game would run on that and right. i can see it will work on that okay cool so when are you guys uh, thinking about having this available on phones that will ship well on phones that will ship will come out this year i can't say okay. another date okay. uh, there will be developer phones available earlier that okay. you can buy online and play with so you can be ready when the market is there Sweet. the first market we're going to release it in well not we are but our partners are releasing it and it's going to be brazil okay because we wanted to bring web connectivity to people who don't have web connectivity at the moment okay if you can't afford it's unfair that you have to uh, have to afford a 600 dollar phone to go online and that's what we want to break Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. So we're here at the Firefox booth checking out Firefox OS for phones. And this is KT Bradford with Digital Trends.